Well, Sanders says Clinton is getting ahead of herself if she thinks she's got the Democratic nomination wrapped up. Clinton is increasingly shifting her focus to Donald Trump and the November general election. New polls out this morning suggest it may be a tough road ahead for Clinton as her lead over Trump shrinks to a virtual dead heat. Here to break it down, Fox News digital politics editor, the one and only Chris Dyerwell. Welcome, Chris. So true. So true. Great to see you. It's good to see you, Thanks too. Welcome home. All right. Thank you. Let's talk about some of these polls, and then okay. I'm going to get your take. Okay. So we've got the Fox News poll. This is head-to-head -head Clinton and Trump. Her at 42 percent, him at 45 percent. Washington Post, ABC. Clinton at 44, Trump at 46. NBC Wall Street Journal, Clinton 46, Trump 43. All of those within the margin of error. Uh, are you surprised that it, it shows up uh, this tight at this point? And, you know, we got months to go. Well, look, there is a win bonus in politics. And the win bonus is Donald Trump. It took Mitt Romney 14 weeks to win the Republican nomination. Donald Trump did it in 13 weeks. It was an unorthodox campaign, to say the least, but he is getting the same. In our poll, he got exactly the same bump as Mitt Romney did four years ago when he clinched the Republican nomination. So Republicans are coming together. We saw, I think it was the Wall Street Journal poll that had Trump now at 86 percent of Republicans. The party they're getting on board. Are, th there will be holdouts. Remember, the threshold is you got to get over 90 percent. You need to be in the 90s if you want to run a conventional kind within of campaign your within your own party. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitt Romney was at 93. That's about where Trump wants to be if he's going to run a more conventional campaign, as his party is now urging him to do. Uh, Hillary Clinton is still out there talking about Bernie Sanders and that jazz, and she is suffering as a consequence. Yeah, and this morning on the Sunday shows, I mean, he's talking about he's not going anywhere, which has always been what he's been saying through this process. Right. Um, and you, uh, you know, when you do the math with the superdelegates and the delegates, unless something radically changed, there's really no, 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 just no, no, no. no calculation for him. Right. So how is her camp, you think, feeling behind the scenes? Because we hear this chatter about they're going to have a talk. She's going to say, let's go. It's been nice. It's been fun. But he does have ardent supporters. He's picked up 21 states, if I remember correctly. Right. I mean, he's not to be brushed away. Well, he is to be brushed away. If his she wants hair, his, vote? his hair is to be brushed away. <laughs> if he, no, if the, she wants his voters, though. He is to be brushed away, but in what way shall he be brushed? Mm -hmm. uh, Donald Trump brushed away Ted Cruz after saying that Ted Cruz's father uh, was uh, complicit in the assassination of an American president. Uh, these win bonuses, yes, they're dependent on how it goes and acrimony, but you could have hardly had a primary season more acrimonious than the one that Donald Trump uh, triumphed out of. Uh, as a matter of fact, there probably never has been. And as a but as a consequence, yes, there are holdouts, but she's going to get a bounce out of this. Trump's bounce took him into basically a statistical tie. The polls disagree about where the bead is exactly, but it took him into a tie with Hillary Clinton. Uh, she's going to get something out of it. The question is, how much? All right, let's look a little bit inside some of the NBC Wall Street Journal poll. We've mm -hmm. got some of the numbers here. When you look at different categories that are broken down and how they do, Trump does better with whites and seniors and independents, which could be critical, as mm -hmm. we know, as with any of these big elections, but just gets absolutely trounced when you look at minorities like African Americans, yeah. Latinos, women, which I would argue is not a minority, but, you know, the, in fact, they, they, they vote no. more than men do right. uh, traditionally here. currently, yes, but no, in general, <laughs> But in 18 to 34-year-olds, also he gets killed. So uh, who of those groups, though, we know that seniors and those folks show up more uh, traditionally in these big elections. Um, how does this math work out for him? Well, let me get philosophical for a brief second. Uh, eight years ago, we were talking about a healing moment for America on race. We were talking about a moment where Americans could come together. No red America, no blue, blue America, not a black America, not a white America. Uh, and now here we stand eight years later, and we have never seen divisions of this degree. We have never seen this kind of polarization. At the end of the Obama era uh, and at the beginning of what will either be the Clinton era or the Trump era, we have never seen a chasm like this between the groups of Americans where you have a lot of white dudes on one side and then a lot of everybody else on the other side. How this ends up, I do not know, but this is a stark moment to think about that this is where our politics have, have come to. All right, quickly, we generally think that they get a convention bounce, either candidate for either side, sure. when, they, when they have all the speeches and the balloons and all that kind of stuff like that. Does she get a bounce if Bernie bows out before then? Is that going to be a yes. bonus for her? Well, on the 7th of June, when she wins, when she, when she grinds, the Democratic Party down with the heel of her sensible but attractive shoe. Uh, as she does that, it will be, she was, she's going to get something out of that uh, after they have, you know, parties are funny. They humiliate you, they embarrass you, they drag you down, and then after you finally give them what they want and you win, they say, I always kind of liked fill in the blank, Romney, mm -hmm. Trump, whoever. I always uh, thought he was okay. So she'll get something out of that. What she'll get at the convention is Barack Obama, and that's going to count for her a lot.
All right, Chris Darwin, always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank you and your bow tie for being here today. We're, we're happy to be with you. Leland.